Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the fourth and last part of my A model 172nd scale Indian Air Force AN32 build. Before I start off, I would like to thank all of you for the overwhelming comments of encouragement that you have sent. Thank you all very very much. Right then, let's start off with the wheels now. First, some sanding to get rid of the seam line. The hubs are now painted with XF5 flat green. The outer hubs are not part of the wheel and are painted separately. I will glue these in once the painting is done. Now to hand paint the tyres with Tamiya XF85 rubber black. I thin down the paint quite a bit so that it's easier to use. The thin paint runs between the hub and the tyre through capillary action. This makes painting much easier and also ensures a good clean finish. To paint the red trimming or border on the black nose, I used masking tape and sprayed on some Tamiya red.
After examining some pictures, I realized that I had not applied the metal paint on the engines correctly. So I did some more masking and painted a few more panels with AK's extreme metal aluminium. The landing gear also needs to be metallic, so it's masked off and painted with aluminium. I applied a few coats of gloss varnish on the kit and once that was dry, proceeded to apply the decals. The decals unfortunately were of rather poor quality. But honestly, by now, I just wanted to get the build done and so decided to stick with these decals. The problem with the decal was the extra carrier film. So I decided to cut as much of the film away as possible and then use the decals. For the port side marking in Devnagri, I managed to get some decals from Draw Decal. Now these are actually meant for the C17. However, they are in the 72nd scale so I decided to use them. Also, I found that these markings varied in size from one ear to another on the actual aircraft. The mistake I did however make is that I did not read the instructions properly and did not realize that the entire sheet is covered in carrier film. Actually, I did not need the instructions for that but I just plain overlooked the fact. Anyway, other than causing some problems in lining up, this oversight did not cost me too much. I now realize that the leading edge of the wings and stabilizers also needed to be metallic. So here I go again, with the masking and airbrushing AK's extreme metal aluminium. The tips of the wing and the tail need to be painted with orange. Panels near the engine exhaust were painted black.
now some X22 player varnish. I now apply a pin wash with Tamiya's panel line accent color. The extra wash is removed with a Q-tip dipped in odorless spirits. Now for some post shading. I dilute some Tamiya black. Actually I really dilute it down. I want a hint of paint for post shading. And it's better to over dilute the paint rather than accidentally spray dark black on the kit. A quick test, maybe a little black more. Another test, seems about right. I will now use some oil paints, lamp black and burnt umber to add soot, smoke and dirt on the engine panels. Now these panels are heavily weathered in real aircraft, so I will try and copy that here. I start by applying a little along the panel line and then streaking it. I keep removing the extra paint with a Q-tip and work towards an effect that I think looks good. I now glue on the wheels and other small bits and bobs like the many antennae around the cockpit.
The last piece to go on is this navigator's bubble. The bubble is masked and then a stripe is painted across. and now to fit it in place. And what do you know? Thank God for small mercies. This actually fits. Imagine that, the last piece in the build actually fits. And finally, let's fix these windows. If you remember, we had done a mini test earlier in the series with a number of glues that dry clear. Based on the test, I decided to go with Mod Podge Gloss. I remove the plastic windows and apply the Mod Podge. A few hours later the glue is dry and this is what it looks like. Not perfect but much better than the foggy plastic windows that came with the set. And here it is fellow model makers. Many hours of sanding and polishing and putting later, my take on A model's 172nd scale AN32. I hope you enjoyed the series. Once again I thank all of you for the encouragement that you gave me through the series. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time. Take care and happy modeling.